Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Ooh, that's the way it is. 101.3 2WD. Dick Lamb, breakfast bunch, 741. 741. Wind's blowing. It's going to be cooler like that. Okay, just the heat thing is over for a while. You guys uh, made any plans for this big uh, New Year's Eve thing coming up here? This, this no, not you and, and I feel and I feel guilty about it. Yeah, yeah. you do Don't feel you? guilty. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but it's yeah. all it's all too expensive. I mean, to do the oh. big stuff, you know. Everybody is figuring out a way to make a bazillion dollars. Now, all the guys that like I know that are in bands and things like that, they're going to make a big hit. And all the places that are renting out their facilities, I mean, this is going like to be your house. <laughs> yeah. Now that's an idea. Oh, gee. Now See I could rent it out. Mind? Stay home? Yeah, this would be good. Harper's Bazaar has some recommendations for the best places to spend New Year's Eve. Uh, they say one of the best places is the Orient Express from Paris to Venice. Ooh, okay. that would be nice. <laughs> and then ring it in at the Hotel Cipriani, Ooh. wherever that is. And here's another one. They Oh, gosh. The Abercrombie and Kent's Kenya Hemingway Safari. Attended Safari. No, thank you. <laughs> um, here's something in India. Celebrate two millennia at once at this 1,000-year-old holy site famous for its erotic sculptures. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you again. <laughs> These Harper's a once, people are... A once-in-a-millennial activity for you. Huh? They're smoking this peyote weed again or whatever. <laughs> Butterfield and Robinson's Camel Trek. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Cameling on the original caravan route through the red sand dunes of the Sahara. Okay, no thanks again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, how about this? The legendary Copacabana Palace in Rio. Party with 2.5 million revelers. Oh, that's my kind. Oh, that's intimate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about just going down the old Virginia Beach boardwalk and, yeah, you know. <laughs> I and probably, go home, order a pizza. Of course, I should order the pizza now. Now, yeah. yes. I will. Freeze it because that <laughs> night a pizza will cost you $240. <laughs> and your oven won't work because of the Y2K button. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. So, oh, geez. Right. I wonder if the listener is really making any plans. I mean, I get the feeling everybody is, you know, booking up things because they, you won't have any room for them. Uh, I may, usually, we, we do a restaurant thing. We go out to dinner, mm -hmm. maybe with another couple. And then I'm home by in time to watch Dick Clark drop the ball there on Times Square. That's it. No, bye bye. Uh, yeah, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I'll watch the ball game. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this will be great. So I. Yeah, you know, it's just another millennium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just another century. You've seen 100 years. You've <laughs> seen, seen them all. all. <laughs> hey, uh, traffic and AccuWeather next. 101.3 2WD. Time is 7.51 at 101.3 2WD. I've kind of stopped the ship here in midstream because I see this uh, line ringing here. And it, and it only means one thing. Big-time listener, all-time listener, Rita Bodine, right? I'm, I'm early. I'm sorry. What? I'm early. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. What's up? Did you hear it? Hear what? The big backfire. Uh-oh. What big backfire? You know, I ordered brochures from all the military schools to try to scare some sense into my boy. Oh, yeah, because they were being slackers. Because they were being slackers, exactly. What happened? Well, when they carried in the mail the day the first brochure came, they were high-fiving each other going, Yes, 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 hoo-hoo! <laughs> well, well, maybe they were calling your bluff. Nah, uh, because then they called their friends. Uh-oh. Well, what would they tell them? I don't eavesdrop. Oh. But from what I could hear on this end, they told them they were going to live in a place that finally had decent food. Oh, they did not. Now, I do think that one was for my benefit, because when I looked up at them, they pointed at me and laughed. But apparently, they think military school is the bomb, which I believe is a good thing. Yeah, that's, that's right. I think you're right. Think Unfortunately, you're right. there's no way we could ever afford the tuition, so I have to either admit defeat uh -huh. or get a job with beginning pay around $80,000 a year. <laughs> you got any positions open down there? <laughs> you, could, you could have Dick's job. Hey, yeah. if they paid that much, Paul would be applying. Let me tell oh. you that. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. Well, anyway, y'all have a wonderful weekend. 
Well, you do the same, and I hope you get a real good job. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, then call you. Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Oh.